We're going to give you an update about our bike that was stolen from the campsite. You may decide to make some changes to your insurance. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz and this is Paul. These are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And pushing past fear has certainly been a challenge for us lately because of the theft of, of Liz's bicycle. But uh, we're doing it and we have some updates for you. Spoiler alert, tell you first off, we have not found the bike yet. We definitely learned a lot through this and we are going to go through a lot of different points, including some surprising information about insurance that you may want to take a note of. Yeah, I want to thank the community uh, for some of the great tips that we got in the comment section. And um, by all means, keep that up. We, we, uh, we really love it and uh, it was very helpful for us. If you haven't already seen the video about the, the bike theft, we'll put a link up here so that you can check it out. But this video is all about an update, how much we have learned and we have even more tips for you. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we did when we noticed the bike was stolen, by the way, the lock was cut, was we called the police. Now here's some very important information you need to, if you have a bike that you would be upset about if it got stolen, you need to have the serial number. We found out after the fact, there was no serial number. Um, the company is kind of a, a boutique manufacturer and they don't put serial numbers on their bikes. But we did have some identifying modifications we done on the bike, so that was helpful. We had a photo of it. And another reason to call the police is that if you're going to file an insurance claim, you do need to have that police report. Actually, right before I called the police, I called the office. I wanted to let them know in case they'd seen something. One of the things to ask them though is do they have cameras on the premises because that would have been a big help. Yeah, although I was talking to a fellow camper and uh, he had a, a bike stolen. His wife's bike was stolen from a park that they visited and the park had cameras. And he said, oh yeah, we saw the guy riding out of the park in it, but but all it got was his back so we couldn't we couldn't really use it for anything and they never they never recovered that bicycle so in the first video we gave you three tips about uh, things that you should do to help prevent theft from your from your campground or from anywhere for that matter right and the first tip was to cover the bike the second one was to use motion lights and the third one was a better lock. a better lock yeah so talk yeah. about the lock so the lock let's Let's discuss the lock. So, <laughs> Here's the crime scene evidence right here. Here's the lock that was on it. Um, it's just your basic bicycle cable lock or cable lock. It's, I see these used a lot for bicycle. I had no idea how easy these things got uh, were, were severed. We have since learned, thank you guys again. We got so many comments on the first video and we since learned that, yeah, these are not recommended to put on. You know, they really are not a good theft deterrent. So this is what I got. And we, we recommend that. We'll put a link to this below. Um, and uh, what, what is this called? This is, a, this is a hardened steel chain. You cannot cut these things with a bolt cutter. I've, I've watched a few videos on YouTube of people trying to, to get through these we'll with bolt cutters. We'll link to those too below. And, and um, it's, it's virtually impossible. Um, now, you give me my grinder and a four inch disc, I'll get through this thing in, in probably under a minute. And uh, so nothing's perfect, but, but this There's is something. But this is the this is the chain that we're gonna use. It comes this particular one comes with a with a lock, which when it's when it's locked, I mean even if you cut it here, you you wouldn't be um, getting in because the the, the locking mechanism is this groove right here. So when it's in, if you cut this off, you're not, you're going to make it almost impossible to, to get to get to open the lock, even with the key. To, um, you're certainly not going to defeat the lock that way. Nothing is foolproof. The kryptonite locks are really good. The U locks, which some people recommended, and and we're looking at those to actually carry with us because I don't think I want to lug this around with us when we're riding. It's it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, there's also some locks when they're folded up. They're maybe like this. It's like the old wooden rulers. I'm sure maybe you've seen these, where you just start unfolding them and it and it ends up with a three-foot ruler. Um, they make locks like that out of hardened steel. 
that um, are also difficult, if not impossible, to cut with bolt cutters. And they take, and they're so much smaller, they're they're easier to 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 haul around with you when you're riding. So another tip was getting a motion light. We ordered one. So one of the things to look at is lumens. Some of the motion lights that you'll find, the light's pretty wimpy. We did get a high powered one and we will put a link in the comments and it's gonna be installed pretty soon. The only downside to this particular lamp light is, is that it's battery powered. Because of where we're gonna mount this thing, we couldn't use solar powered because it just isn't gonna get a lot enough sunlight to, to charge the battery. And why couldn't we hardwire it? Well, yeah. It's just too much. <laughs> yeah. Too big of a project. Yeah. So that's the motion light. We, we have a cover. And then we got some great tips from you. Thank you again so much. So a really good tip was the GPS tracker. And we were really excited about that. And we went through probably a dozen different brands online researching them. Half a dozen. Half a dozen. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. it felt like a dozen, but yeah. So we went through about a half a dozen and we would find some drawbacks. Like Yeah, I mean, the main thing for me was, uh, you know, some of them, there was one that was 20 almost $25 a month. Right, right, just to have the GPS just for the tracking. tracking service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Several of them you had to buy a separate SIM card uh, through T-Mobile or something like that and then pay a monthly with them. Some of them you had to be really close to the missing object to, yeah. for it to work. Yeah, I ordered a, a boomerang. Well, boomerang, the tracking device itself, the, the part that goes on the bike, you have to buy that, and of course, and it's $75. And boomerang does have a monthly fee, but it's but it's under $4. So one of the other tips you gave us was cameras, to get a camera, and, and, uh, and we have done that. We're not really gonna share you the details because that might defeat the purpose. But yes, we do believe having a camera. Of course, it does have, no matter what camera you get, how's it gonna help you if somebody still gets away with it? There is no perfect solution here. I mean, if somebody wants something bad enough, they're gonna get it, right? We're grateful for what we've learned and, and we're definitely, you know, we're pleased to pass this on to you so hopefully you won't have to learn it the hard way like we did. So insurance is a biggie. After about five or six days of the bike being missing, we were realizing that it may not come back and I had to make the call to insurance. We have full-timers RV insurance through Progressive and the bike was locked to the rig and is considered a possession. We have uh, X number of dollars covered for possession. Well, guess what we learned? <laughs> because it has a motor, it's considered a vehicle and it's not part of the insurance. You probably want to talk to your insurance agent mm -hmm. and make sure if you have e-bikes that you're traveling with, I would, I would make that phone call. This is the biggest tip. So the good news is the Paul saved the day. Uh, once again. <laughs> Remember, he's my hero, so. <laughs> so I have renter's insurance. I have insurance through USAA. Being a veteran, I can use, I can get USAA. And if you're a veteran and you don't have it, you should. We'll put a link below also. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to save you money. And I've had nothing but good interactions with them when I've called for quotes, when I've, and recently when I, when I called about this, this bicycle. After I filed the claim online, it said, okay, you'll receive a phone call. And I said, oh, okay, fine. Well, uh, I'll talk to him in a day or so. An hour later, I get a phone call. And he asked me if, if it had been locked up. And I said, yes. And I, I said, I even have, I still have the lock so I can send you a, a picture of it if you'd like. And he said, sure, do that. He also asked for the receipt. But you know. then what happened? This was the most impressive thing that happened on this phone call. After, after we went through all of the, you know, sending pictures and, and all of that, what did he say? He said, we'll probably be able to get you a check out today. And I was just shocked. It showed up in my bank account because I did an electronic transfer. I didn't have to wait for the, the hard, you know, the hard copy of a check. So yeah. that's definitely, we give yeah. them a gold star. Oh yeah. So because we got most of the money back from, uh, from Liz's bike, we are able to purchase another one. It's on order and here's the news. It is not red. We just felt like that just says steal me on it. Yeah. So it's black. <laughs> we had been talking about e-bikes. I mean, even before we got together, I was I was giving her advice about e-bikes because I'm I'm a longtime cyclist and I just recently got into e-bikes. And we we love to ride together. We've ridden all over every time, you know, since we've gotten the e-bike. So yeah. speaking of biking, we have a second channel and it's called Amazing Bike Rides. 
We are gonna put a link right here. Basically, it is virtual bike rides, and if you are stuck at home and you've got your stationary bike, it's a great opportunity for you to bike and have something to look at and beautiful scenery. Yeah, we did some rides in uh, the hills around, around the central coast. Yeah, we did some rides in Sedona and um, along the beach yeah, so it's just the... something to look at if you just want to be an armchair traveler or if you want to get a workout whatever you want to do you can have your own music or listen to the music we have but just check it out if you have any more tips on theft prevention or stories absolutely put them in the comments and join the a-team just push on the subscribe button we will see you in the next video